don't even get me started on their armor. Yeah? Fucking costume armor. <laughs> yeah. They're putting... Welcome back. So so many times they're like, oh, we're going to put this... Um, can they even, like, recreate armor from back then like that? Yeah, yeah, you can definitely do it. Oh. You can do it better, too. But they just use costume armor. Like, we're gonna put, we're gonna use this slashing sword against this, um... This cosplay this, armor we got? <laughs> this cow that's in chainmail. One, that's the worst thing to use. Don't use a fucking slashing sword on chainmail. You're not gonna cut it. But guess what? It does cut it. Because it's fucking costume armor. Because it's fake ass shit. <laughs> like that sword goes through it like it was nothing. Because it was butted fucking mail. Mm -hmm. Which butted mail is when you take the rings, you separate them, and then you re put them back together. So mm -hmm. you're not welding them or anything like that. Though you can weld them, it still doesn't hold very well. You want to do riveted mail. Fuck it, man. Just go to medieval times for authentic No, shit. God, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Don't go there. Dude, you gotta admit, that place is pretty sweet, though, right? I do like going to medieval times. I mean, I haven't been there since I was, like, seven, but still. Like... I had an argument with one of the people there. Really? Yeah, she's like, oh, yeah, you can use this for, like, dual, dual uh, wielding uh, the Roman centurion sword. And I'm like, one, no. That's not at all how you use this sword. Two, there's no such thing as dual wielding in any historical context. <clears throat> yeah, because that seems impractical. It is. Because there's you, you leave yourself defenseless. The only dual wielding that it, it was ever a thing was rapier and a longer knife. And that longer knife was more for disarming and uh, blocking. It was not actually used like people as a, think. As, a, um, as an offensive weapon? Yeah. It is not how you would think, you know, dual wielding is. Where you're fucking Spartacusing it. You don't <laughs> yeah. do that. You don't dual wield fucking... That, that leaves you gladius. so open. I know. Well, that's the thing. It's like, yeah, this isn't a fucking TV show. Because <laughs> guess Long what? You, you back up and you put your arms up like this and you're going to come down at me with two swords. I'm going to just, just real quick and stab you in the chest mm -hmm. and then you're gonna die yeah because well, you left yourself yeah, open that's like exactly what it is is like you leave yourself open so yeah she's like yeah no dual wielding is the thing i'm like you have no clue <laughs> you have zero clue and it's like you got the pr you got proof of this you got a document saying that that happened yeah <laughs> how did the dinosaurs exist when somebody was there to take a picture of them or whatever the fuck. Yeah, how did the says. dinosaurs die <laughs> if if somebody was there to take a picture of yeah, them? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> She's that person. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, yeah, I know it happens because I see it in video games and stuff like that. But, but, fucking, uh, Roroni Kenshin did it like this. And Roroni Kenshin's a fucking fake ass piece of shit. Yeah. Made by people who are also on it, ill-informed. Oh, yeah. Because they wanted to be cool. Yeah. It's like, oh, dual wielding. That means you can uh, twice the output of damage. And no. guess what? You, <laughs> <No>. <laughs> you, you fucking Dude. have your defense. Dude, fucking chivalry. You went around punching people all the time. That's not what people did. <laughs> actually, it is what they did. <laughs> A lot of fights actually ended with... Well, yeah, but like, I'm, but not. To, I'm not yeah, saying yeah. to the same degree that I was in chivalry. No, no. Where I'm just walking up to a guy no, with I, his Y hander and punching him. No, yeah, I, no, not I, a thing. I think any fight in any like you know given period of time ended with some kind of fisticuffs action going on. Like most that probably happened in, in plenty of <laughs> wartime uh, eras. I would imagine most armor to armor combat wasn't even fought with swords. Yeah. It was fought with war hammers. It was fought with maces. You know, stuff that will actually penetrate an armor. Penetration, no breathing. Swords were useless unless you could have a uh, hand and a half it, and then get it in between part of the yeah yeah, yeah. the fucking uh, blade. You gotta get it to that flesh, man. That's what kills. Because slashing at armor, guess what? It does zip. Yeah. That's why it was made. Yep. 
some of the strongest swords can't even pierce armor. So don't. You're not gonna be cleaving people in half unless they're they're <laughs> unarmored. Yeah. So Bill, you're gonna be a blacksmith. Yeah, I'd love to be a blacksmith. That would be so much fun. That's what we should do as a society. Go back to bladed weaponry. Like fuck the guns, like fuck the war the hammer. Yeah, people. fuck the nukes. Go back to fucking bladed weaponry. Got to turn this on. Shit. <laughs> Shave off five minutes. You see, the reason why we don't do bladed weaponry anymore is because we don't have good enough armor to stop bullets. I guess so, huh? Because in the terms of arm race, if you really think about it, we uh, the way we were always evolving was uh, we were both in fisticuffs. That was the neutral, you know, kind of thing. And then somebody picked up a stick. Yeah, right. And then, you know, people started wearing clothes that were heavier. Right, right. So someone made that stick sharp. Yeah. So somebody, you know, made it so the clothes were thicker. So someone made it me out of metal. And so on and so forth. Bitch. Yeah. So we, we started making it so you couldn't slash at us with that stick. So now we uh, we get pointier sticks, uh, and then we make plate. So now you can't even put the pointy end into us. Well, now we just make really heavy pointy ones, and then we break through it. <laughs> and then it's just so on and so forth. But once we made guns, which is this little tiny pointy thing yeah. that goes so fast that an armor can't stop it. Yeah, it's true. No, it's true. It, yeah, see, what you need it, to do is you have to have a breast pocket, and then you put your... Your wallet there, you yep. <laughs> or like, or your, or your journal. <laughs> That's so what you gotta do. Once we, uh, I got a hoverboard race. Check this shit. Once, once we actually are able to stop bullets effectively, dude, just wear fucking safes <laughs> <laughs> and have it practical. <laughs> To practically be able to stop bullets and all of that, you know, then then weaponry will progress more than just because uh, you know people wanted to make a new weapon. Now it will actually progress to you know be more efficient at killing. All right, killing people. <laughs> <laughs> That's always been the goal: is to kill a person you don't agree with. No, I know. Essentially, I mean, that's how the world works. Oh, right there. There go. Cool. There you go. You got the boat. So yeah. And so then, how about that Han Solo movie? <laughs> uh, I'm not gonna. I'm probably not gonna see it unless anyone wants to go see it. Uh, I'm kind of. Uh, I think I'm reaching my limit with it. To be honest with you. I know, Jimmy. Just, just Star Wars in general, not just the Solo movie. Just. Star Wars as a whole. I believe Jimmy, Mitch, and Dan all went to go see it uh, yeah. yesterday. Yeah. And no one ever said anything about it. So clearly it wasn't so that must, important. must have been pretty lame. Let me, let me see. Did they actually go? I can I mean, Yeah. I want to see if they actually said anything. I got a guy on Facebook, and every time he goes and sees a movie, he just says, It was good! And then he just puts that on Facebook, and that's it. <laughs> so he just said Solo was good It's like you're not Gonna expand upon that at all You're just gonna say it was good <laughs> It's good Plenty of things are good But why? Why are they good? Well, Did you know That if you can beat this uh, This in uh, 69 seconds Or less The last race, the hardest race You get to see that girl naked That'd be pretty sweet that's what they need to do in games, again. It's like, have fucking naked Easter eggs, you know? Yeah. Like, remember Mafia? I do. And Mafia the, all two? those pictures? You get the Playboy pictures? Yeah. And they're, like, all just naked chicks. 
I don't think you see vagina, but no, no, but it's like, but still, like know, it's like shoulder. Yeah, well, you check out their boobs. You can see their boobs. Yeah, everybody likes boobs. That's what they need to do in games again, man. Yeah, well, people are like oh, sensibilities. My fragile sensibilities. Um, my kids can't see this. Then don't let them play the game. But don't have kids. But, but I. But then I have to. But then I have to watch what they're doing. And I don't like my kids. <laughs> I wish I never had kids. I wish I was smart. And didn't have any kids. But everyone kept pressuring me to have kids. So it means I had to have kids. Mm -hmm. It's true. Ooh, these fucking hoverboards are making the goddamn TIE fighter sound. It's a solo movie tie-in. That's why we're playing this. <laughs> Go see Solo in theaters now. Sponsored uh, by Chin Strap Chaps. I don't know if it's going to be good. I, don't know, I wasn't really that interested in it. I wasn't either. That's why I'm not going to go see it. Did you do it in 69 seconds or less? Uh, we'll see. I don't think in 69 seconds or less. I'm pretty sure it took more than that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I man, in 69 seconds you get to see this girl nude. I don't think that's going to happen. She's got really. big I don't old think tits. That, I don't think that's physically possible. You could probably find that online. Yeah, I don't know her name, but... Well, but just look up, like, Ratchet and Clank, Rule 34. Well, it's always just going to be Ratchet fucking, like, Quark. So? Let me see it. I don't want to see it. <laughs> yeah, but I do. Billy, you're not the one playing right now, so you have the ability to look it yeah, up. Yeah, I, I do, and I also have the ability to not look it up. And you're just a fucking puss, aren't you? <laughs> you're just a fucking douchebag, aren't you, then? Oh, you ta fuck. Taylor, Taylor, <laughs> you're not supposed to hit those. I know, but I keep I keep hitting them because I'm trying to, to throttle. How are you going to get that 69-second run? I'm not going to. That's why you got to look it up for me. Just look it up, dude. 69, 69, yeah, sorry. Just look it up, dude. They're gonna fuck that guy. I have not watched fucking, like, any Game Grumps lately. I watched, I have watched their Guts and Glory, just because that's kind of fun to play, or uh, to watch, rather. But other than that, I have not watched a single fucking Game Grumps video. I, I like their House Party series. Jimmy actually owns that game. Why? Because he's a lonely man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I I can't remember. Holy shit! She is the first one. Oh yeah. I was not expecting that. Yeah. See, I told you. Cause I've looked it up before. <laughs> well, then why'd you even? No, I haven't actually. <laughs> oh, I lost. God damn it! You know, I was right. Oh, as we've seen that one. No, I've like, never. I think uh, that looks vaguely familiar. I I have no clue of this. Yeah, she is the first one. Holy shit! Uh, uh, like a... Got a good one. Her tits can't be that big, man. <laughs> Funny. <laughs> like her tits are not even close to that big. No, no, <laughs> no, they're not. <laughs> And then it just goes to fucking ranch and having a cock. <laughs> <laughs> it's too real. That's what it's funny. <laughs> like, 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 if you think he fucking sits around in his apartment with a boner like that. <laughs> he sits around in his apartment. <laughs> And like with like spaceships flying around outside, <laughs> just got a bar. <laughs> That's what gets me with those is that it's like <laughs> it's just like putting it into like real life terms. It, it just doesn't make any sense. Like here's this like cat dog thing from another galaxy with a fucking human just, ass dick. <laughs> just a normal human dick. It's just hairy. <laughs> That's so funny. Perfect. 
spades. Yeah, it basically boils down to like you just gotta fucking nail every jump and just keep doing oh, flips God. and shit. He has a thick fucking legs and ass in this picture. I wanna see it on. Yeah, I'll wait. We're almost out of time for the episode too. Shit. Yeah, there it is. Spindly his fucking arms and <laughs> chest is, but is he thick. Yeah, he is. He, yeah. he is thick. That's very disproportionate. <laughs> Zach Lane fingering his butthole. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next time in Just Strap Chaps, we explore this topic a little more. Okay.